。本期视频主题：梁文博提前庆祝胜利，却遭对手强行逆转打脸。决胜局中，两人连番上演惊魂时刻。输球后，海盗乔斯维尔显得不够绅士，直接甩过裁判。下面咱们一起来看一下。And it's there. And that's what it means to this young Chinese player. Raises his fist in the air. What a performance! 打进篮球后，梁文博高高举起了手臂庆祝胜利。可惜庆祝还是提前了一些，他没能打进制胜的粉球。The pink isn't in, but surely that's enough to take this young player through to the quarter-final of this year's 888 World Championship. 虽然已经超分，但对手没有放弃。海盗利用斯诺克的机会获得罚分，成功逆转了梁文博，并最终将比赛拖入了决胜局。Uh, this has got a chance. This has got a chance. This has got a chance. Another two inches done. This would have been tight behind the black and almost impossible to hit. This is missable. Foul. Joe Swell six. Absolutely. Incredible, stewards! If you see that person that was shouting out, well, have him out, please. Yes, he could do because he could play as a shot to nothing. This, he's not stunned it. The pink cuts, and I think he can get enough on the cue ball to stop the white from going in the corner pocket. This is quite amazing. 对于错失这个机会，梁文博在赛后还是显得很郁闷。他不停地说道：“当时要是再平静一点就好了。”看得出来，丧失了这样一个黄金机会，他显得异常沮丧。Is he bound to get on the black if he does that? Maybe not. I'm right behind the shot, Willie, and he can avoid the in off with a little delicate shot here. <laughs> now he doesn't want to drop tight on the black here. Six. <laughs> white. He wants the white cleaning. Well, the atmosphere in the Crucible Theatre. The Yang Wenbo had one foot in the quarter-final. He doesn't want to look now. The young Chinese player thought he was in the quarterfinal. He raised his fist, but it's not over yet. Joe Swell takes the frame. 而在决胜局中，两人轮番出现失误，双方屡屡在关键时刻上演惊魂一幕。That was such a hard chance. Wenbo is going to have one last chance. This could be it. Going to need the rest also. He's left-handed, but I still don't think he can stretch across. If he can, it's much better. He's going to be fully stretched to get to this.
And if this goes in, it's all about the red that's tight on the back cushion, isn't it? You can see him getting the next three reds and three colours. How would you like to play that shot slow along the cushion for, for frame and match? Not pretty. Well, he's got an angle, and if he can get anywhere near the circle, he'll be perfectly placed. Doesn't have to get in the circle, but anywhere near it would be good, as long as he's on the same line. And he is. Six. He's actually going to need the yellow as well. So, if he does pot the red along the cushion in three, four shots time, five shots time, how does he get from black to yellow? I think he's going to do what he said before the session. He's going to take one ball at a time. Fourteen. Oh, Joe Swell. What a comeback he's made. And he may still get the one more chance. Fifteen. Because even if he pots this red and the black, black to yellow, it's going to be very, very tough. And red to black's not going to be easy. This is the key. He's now having the red cleaned. 22. Because he's just going to drop this in. Well, what a match. Can this young Chinese player pull this out of the fire? Because after losing four in a row, if he does, it'll be quite remarkable. This is one of those shots where if he hadn't been on the red as nice as this, it'd have had a very easy snookering behind the black. This is huge. Huge shot. It's there. It's there. Now what I is there, black to yellow. 23. It's absolutely perfect. He wants to get as close to that yellow as possible and he can avoid the middle pocket or he can get up near that circle. The good news is that Joe can only tie at the moment. I don't think he'll wave his arm in the air if the yellow goes in. I think he'll give it another couple of shots. This is, I mean, the young boy, whatever happens, you've got to take your hat off to him. He's been a breath of fresh air to this tournament. <laughs> He's still over in the other chair of the other table. Liao Wenbo used the shot of the opponent, and he won the red ball. But it was too late to get the red ball. He couldn't hold it. 打丢黄球后，梁文博显得有些失落，又一次浪费了终结比赛的机会。此时他领先对手二十七分，而台面的分数刚好也是二十七分。正是因为这颗黄球失误，间接导致了乔斯维尔赛后的甩锅。具体是怎么回事？咱们接着往下看。Swerve's not impossible, Dennis. He can always see quarter ball yellow, but I know it's a horrible shot to play. But going in behind it, I'm not too sure whether he can get the yellow high enough up the table. If you tried to swerve around it, he could pop the yellow and follow it into the pocket. It's it's got to be off the the ball cushion there. And I think he'll do really well to get the green, sorry, the yellow past the ball line. Playing cushion first. Wow. The wise guy. The wise guy. Great 
first up. Well, the where the crowd are reacting, you think this was the final of the World Championship. Oh, that's a great shot under the circumstances. I suppose it takes a little bit of pressure off the shot, the fact that he was 27 in front. Well, he could get the snooker here. Charles Ware 利用蓝球给梁文博做了一杆错客，大家留意此时白球的位置。咱们先做一个标注，方便一会儿对比观看。So where are they going to finish up here? You just never know. One thing you have to do is it is hard enough to leave. Oh, you're kidding. Well, that snooker was impossible to miss for somebody of his class. That is pure tension. 现在是比赛的决胜局，又是关键的最后几颗球，双方的心理多少都会有些变化。每一次击球都很有可能直接改变最后的结果。Even though there's 27 points in front, Alan Chambers entitled to call the miss. It was very, very easy snooker to hit, but under the circumstances, I might have given the player the benefit of the doubt there because it was not in his favour to miss the snooker. Well, Jan Verhaas did it earlier. The referees can do it with his discretion. He doesn't have to call the miss. Now, as I say, if he hits it, where are they going to finish? Well, he's, he's now playing to hit the yellow. Now there's a bit of a problem here because Joe Swell suggesting that the balls weren't in the right position. 虽然没有听到现场的声音，但从双方的表情来看，乔斯威尔并不满意裁判这次复位以及梁文博的解球。赛后他也重点提到了这个诺克，不过海盗所表示的是对裁判的不满，因为他认为。在梁文博第二次解球时，裁判母球所摆放的位置有些偏。换句话说，这样的摆放使得梁文博的解球难度下降。对此，梁文博显得很有风度。他只是简单的表示：“我们都知道那个裁判是英国人，即使他有些偏差，我想也不会是偏向我的。”从斯诺克规则角度来讲，裁判复位完毕后会征求双方球员的意见。若任何一方有质疑，裁判都会再次确认复位的位置。虽然从画面中我们看不到裁判是否征询了乔斯威尔的意见，但为了比赛的流畅性，若觉得有疑问，应该当时立即指出，否则不管是复位也好，或者是犯规也好，均是过时不候。毕竟这是体育比赛的一部分，感兴趣的可以翻一下冯凤之前分享的奥沙利文与丁俊晖比赛中犯规的视频，作为对比参考。Now, where is this going to finish up? He's potted the green, believe it or not. Foul. And the white has come around on Joshua. the yellow. Four. What an amazing match this is turning out to be. Both players must be in bits at the moment. Well, he forces a little sort of wry smile, but... But under the circumstances, this is far from easy. Yes, especially as he needs to finish high on the green because the pink's in the way. So he needs to come top side of the green so it's easy to get from green to brown. Is he hard enough? Two. Is he hard enough? Yes, he's OK. It's 14 points behind. He needs a lot.
。冯凤平时喜欢收集斯诺克的数据资料，例如球员交手记录、奖金收入、冠军数量等。各位小伙伴，如有想了解的信息，可以在视频下方留言。如果平时你也喜欢冯冯的视频，请记得一定要点赞关注哦。Five. Well, I said anything can be missed under these circumstances. The pressure on both players is quite amazing. And it's now one of those matches, really, that you don't want to see either play, player lose. Well, I've never wished for a draw at the Crucible, but this one definitely deserved to be one. I mean, and the fact that he's left-handed gives him a great chance. I don't think anything's a great chance, is it, at this stage? Needs the blue. And he's got to play it with lots of power to screw the white back. Even if he runs through and off the cushion, he's still got to force it. Earlier on in the week, this would have been a certainty. Now, it's not above 50-50 under this pressure. Joe Swill had a magnificent comeback. Nine, Liang Wenlo. Well, this time, <laughs> surely, surely he's got to be in the quarterfinal. Two snookers needed. Well, I have seen some tense finishes here at the Crucible Theatre. I've seen them finish at 10 to 4 in the morning with players, but Joe Swell can be proud of himself. The Ang, he doesn't know what to do at the moment. <laughs> Bye.